Now, as you may have seen in other videos on my channel, creating presets in Lightroom Mobile is actually super easy and is a great way to edit photos while on the go. But the problem with Lightroom Mobile is that it's not super easy, or I should say obvious, of how you can share your presets with friends so then everyone can get in on the cool presets that you are creating. The first thing that you will do once in Lightroom Mobile is you need to go and apply your preset onto an image. Now, you can either create a preset like I show in other videos that you can find up in the corner right now, or you can apply a preset onto your current photo like I'm gonna do right now. So to apply a preset, we're gonna go to our preset option, and then we're gonna go to our library and go and find the preset that you want to apply. In this case, I wanna apply my summer preset, summer soft tone. So now my preset has been applied. I'll press the check mark to commit to that. And now it's time to go and share this photo. So to do that, we're gonna to go to the share icon, and then we're gonna go down to export as and set the file type to DNG. This is really important if you want this preset to be transferable to someone else. Now we'll press the check mark to commit to that. An option will come up here where you can go and share this image or this DNG file with anybody in your phone or you can go and upload it to one of the social media apps as you see below here. Now, what I recommend is uploading this to a cloud storage software such as Dropbox or Google Drive or iCloud or something like that, where someone can easily open the file somewhere else, download it and import it into Lightroom Mobile. In this case, I'm gonna select Dropbox. So clicking on the Dropbox option, I'm gonna choose a place to save it to by pressing on that option there. In this case, I'm already happy with the Lightroom Mobile presets folder that I created in my Dropbox already. Then I'm gonna go and share it to the person I wanna share it with. This will send them a link to their email or their phone number or whatever. So if you're not sure, you can always go and add yourself to this list like you see here. Then I'll just type in a little message if you want to. Hey, here's your cool preset. And then we'll go and click post. So what that is gonna do is share our file, that DNG file onto Dropbox with the contact that you just chose. Now it says that your photo was successfully shared. So let's go and pretend like we are the person receiving this image for the first time. Now, one quick thing, if you're finding this helpful so far, make sure to hit that like button down below. It really makes a huge difference and I thank you in advance. Okay, let's get back into it. Just to prove to you how this works, I'm actually gonna go and delete the preset that we just used. Going to presets, soft summer tones. I'm gonna press on that and click delete. Press delete again. So now that preset is completely gone, but I'm not worried about it because I'm gonna be able to reinstall it since I just shared it with myself. Or in this case, my friend, which is also still me. Okay, so going back to our library here, we're gonna go and import our photo once again. So clicking on the import option, we'll go to from files because we need to select from Dropbox here. And then from the different locations, choose the place that you shared it from. So in this case, I shared my photo to Dropbox. So therefore I'm gonna select Dropbox. If you shared it to iCloud or Google Drive, that's what you would select instead. So clicking Dropbox in my case, I'm gonna go and find the folder that it was shared with here. And in this case, it's right in here. Then I have the file right there. So I'll click on that photo to download it to my phone and import it into my Lightroom Mobile. It says one photo was successfully imported. As you can see right here, I have the DNG version of this photo now. So clicking on that image, this is the new photo that I just shared with myself. So by default, all of the settings from the preset are applied to this photo. As you can see, if I click on the exposure adjustments, for example, everything is already made and that's because we have the preset applied. And and with the DNG file, it remembers all of these settings. Now what you have to do once you receive this file is actually create a new preset, otherwise this won't be saved. So to create a new preset, it's very easy. Clicking on the preset option, we'll then go and press the three dots icon and go to create preset. I'll call this preset to soft summer tones. And then I can create a new preset group just to keep things organized. I'll press on user presets, create new preset group and call this summer tones. And then I'll go down to my options here and make sure that everything that you see here is checked off. Now with all this in order, we'll press the check mark in the upper corner. And now we've created a new preset based off of this DNG that we just shared with someone, AKA myself in this example. So now when I go to my preset options, going into my library here, 
I can go down and find that new preset group, Summer Tones preset, and then I have my soft Summer Tones preset that was based off of the DNG file that we just shared. So now you can go and take this preset to other photos and apply it. Now if you have multiple presets that you're sharing with someone, you're going to have to repeat these steps multiple times for each preset that you want to save. So applying that preset, exporting them as a DNG, sharing them with your friend, then once your friend receives them, they have to import that DNG file that you just shared and then create a new preset based based off of the adjustments that are already on that DNG file. It does seem like a lot of steps, but once you get the hang of it, it really only takes a couple of seconds just to export and share your presets. So it doesn't take too long to do this. Now, if you wanna learn how I created this specific Summer Tones preset, I actually have a video going through each step of the process and explaining the whole thing in depth that you can find up in the corner right now if you're interested in that. Otherwise, if you're happy with just sharing your presets, then the job is done and congrats because now all of your friends have your cool presets as well. Now, if you're new to this channel and you love photo editing, especially in Lightroom and Photoshop, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below so we can hang out and talk more about photo editing together. Anyways, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.